hi guys welcome to my channel today menu will be some soup beef chicken foot edos cassava plantain right along with this noodle soup i put it close i'm gonna put two pack of this all right so let me get right into it here are the ingredients this is cassava and the edo put it aside this is the chicken foot and the beef this is the beef here and this is the chicken first i'm gonna put the chicken the beef inside this pressure and let it boil i don't like not too hard i want it it must melt in my mouth all right when this gets soft enough then i'm gonna add this chicken foot because you can't put the two together you don't want it mash up or melt right you want see this chicken foot in this um soup this is the peas split peas it's like maybe like three and four not much but i want to taste it this is a um, soup with a twist, just in case. I'm going to be putting some rice into this soup, rice, cooked rice. Now, if you got, if you got rice in your fridge, instead of you throwing it out and it's good, and you make it some soup, hey, delicious, try it. All right. Stay tuned. Along with the edos, but uh, edo, cassava, and plantain, carrots, tomato, onion, scallion. All right. And the split peas. You know, um not complaining again i just wanted to sit something i just be noticing right that people would faster subscribe to the youtube channel such as like people watch at the monkey channel or people blogging what if it's true or lie about themselves? So a lot of times people just lie to um, maybe get famous or to get more viewers. I mean, you get a shout, it's nothing like that. And people who cooking, teaching somebody something, you know, healthy, they get less viewers. They get less subscribers. People don't watch to see how you, for cook or if some people, young people want to learn to do something, they should be able to get onto the internet or wherever social media and see what people cook and try to learn to do something for themselves. You know, they don't do that. They would prefer to sit down. I watch it all them other stupidness that don't make no sense instead of the, do something or try to learn something that can benefit them at the end because most of the time this food we see people just be putting up is now what you see is get I'm telling you it don't taste good it don't even do right but you know Everybody just want everything look good. Maybe people just look at a nice background. If you, you got a big fancy house and the lighting around them looks so good. And those are getting people crazy. That is a local, local dish. I ain't got no big fancy house. I ain't got no big camera all over the place. No, I ain't got all of that. I just simply have a phone. I'm doing my video. But I still appreciate 
the little that I'm getting one at a time. I still appreciate the little love and support that I get from generous, generous people. You know, I'm thankful for that. I'm not complaining. The old parable says, one one dot he build down. That is a Guyanese word. It's not who at the top, it's who coming behind. Take warning. I'm come I'm gonna get there. One day. Once you have confidence and you believe in yourself. Yes. This all like, that's something that come to my mind and I said I wanted to say it. You know? I don't I'm not gonna cut this up big. I mean small. I'll cut it big. When I cook in soup I like see this inside of my soup. Carrots. Big. Cut it up easy, easy like greasy. Set you in the meanwhile, the, the beef pressure. In. So I'm gonna put this everything that needs to be in this pot. So, all I would have to do is just Add the meat into the pot. That's it. Set it aside. So now the beef gets soft. soft. So I'm gonna put the chicken foot now. And I'm gonna put the, the pea same time. The peas wash. And I left it with soap. So I didn't put no salt in this um, pot. The reason why is because I seasoned up the chicken foot and everything with salt. So I didn't really want to put any salt, but I'm gonna put it now. I'm gonna put a little salt. Almost like a half of a tablespoon or maybe one teaspoon. Now that I'm gonna cover this down and let this boil. Pressure, I mean. I'm telling you, I could see all the fat floating on top of this. Jesus Christ! Hey, I hate this part. Stay tuned. So now I'm gonna make the dumpling and in the meanwhile the chicken foot is pressuring, right? So this is cornmeal, all right? I'm gonna use two tablespoons of cornmeal. One tablespoon of butter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tablespoon of the uh, purpose flour. Mm -hmm. 
you want as if you don't want a lot right and I'm gonna go put one tablespoon of the um, sugar or one and a half sugar and I'm gonna mix it and a little pinch of salt and that's gonna be it for this put it right I'm gonna put the sugar so I just put I use two tablespoons of sugar I like my thing sweet and I'm gonna add a little bit of water at a time I'm not mixing it too soft I want to mix it kind of stiff right more flour than cornmeal because you don't know if you put too much of the cornmeal and you put enough um, flour it can loose up in the pot so you don't want the whole set of the cornmeal in here this is it this is how I want it stiff Drop this. We're not put the um water into the pot for by the to have any plantain. I'm gonna let this drop this to close the water get hot and drop this same time inside. So everything must boil together. You understand? What I'm looking for. Make sure it is. it's soft, but it's not runny. This must be. I've got to drop it. I'm gonna dip it out like this and drop it in the pot. See, it's in runny like that. So stay tuned. So now put this on. So this combine in the meanwhile the um chicken foot and the crispy is still boiling. So I'm gonna let this boil in the meanwhile. When this food is just started to get hot enough, I'm gonna hot hot this dough, the dumpling. Right? So that you could pile up same time with this and then I'm gonna add the other ingredients. Stay tuned. So this is the chicken foot and the beef and the split peas that done so I'm gonna start um, dropping the um, dumpling in this pot here I'm gonna add another pot later because I don't know how when I add the salt in the meat how sad is it? And then this. So I'm gonna let this like pile up. I'm gonna start dropping the um the dumpling though. When it's everything starts to boil. They're supposed to raise to the top so you could see it. Alright. Remember your hand have to be clean.
Look at it. You see what I'm talking about? You see everything? All the dumplings floating in itself. That's how it should be. Float at the top. I want the air door to boil properly and I must know, know that the cassava. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boiling cassava. I didn't show you guys when I put the planting, but this is the green planting. I'm going to check the edo and see. And I use both pack of the chicken with the soup. Not just one, I use two. So, we add another couple of minutes more for boil. And then I'm going to add some of the, add the meat in here with some of the liquid. You see the part small? Oh, God. And I want to go big part. There's no problem, you know, but I'm going to invite throw, throw it over to the bigger part. Stay true. So I have some cooked rice here, right? So what I'm going to do is add some of this rice, not all, into this pot. You could also add raw rice out in the, in the, into it. This is brown rice, so it's not going to be too soft or sappy or anything like that they're gonna still cook and be loosey in this pot as it boil they're gonna lose mm-hmm the edo boil to transfer everything back over to a bigger pot because the one is too small because I gotta transfer over everything from here into here now I'm gonna add the meat in just now in a little while I mean but I think just now so let boil up a little let me taste it hmm it wants some more salt Carthy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some black pepper one cube and let me taste it when it dries up a little bit and then I got no so I gotta put some salt in it just one cube one big cube Maggie right by up and then I got no as I said again <laughs> So I'll take a couple pieces of this edo and I'll mash it. I'll put it right back inside of it. Do you know that this this soup here could be used for baby also? You got a little baby, you get the some of this broth here and feed them. You mash this edo in it. Don't worry meat. This is very, very rich for the babies. Good for you, better for the baby. Feed your baby with good nourishing food, you know? Mm -hmm. 
four to six four to six months and the baby thing this one a little bit more salt because the cube can do nothing really I ain't putting no more. I ain't putting no more. Alright, stay true. I'm gonna add the um the beef and the chicken foot in this thing now. This is what it looks like when you finish. Chicken foot and beef and rice. Ooh, ooh. Tasty. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like when finished. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and give this video a thumbs up. Healthy, tasty, delicious soup. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all my subscribers. Thanks for all my viewers. Thank you, thank you, thanks. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.